is Alexis Zimmin and I'm going to tell you about hybrid assembly of genomes from Illumina and Oxford Nanopore Minion reads with Mazurka Genome Assembler. This work was done in collaboration with Guillaume Marseille, James York and Steven Salzberg of Johns Hopkins University and the University of Maryland. Mazurka hybrid mega read strategy has been featured in two recently published papers. For both papers, we used hybrid datasets of Illumina and PacBio reads. The first one, published in Genome Research, was about a hybrid assembly of very large, four and a quarter gigabases and very repetitive genome of one of the ancestors of bread wheat, Agilops tauchii. The other paper was about an improved assembly of a 22 gigabase genome of Loblolly pine. Preliminary studies indicate that improvements in contiguity in the Loblolly pine assembly led to significantly improved annotation with about 37,000 multi-exon genes now compared to only about 5,000 in the Illumina-only assembly. Let me quickly overview the whole genome shotgun sequencing and assembly approach. We start with many copies of DNA, which we shred and sometimes size select into fragments of 150 to 200,000 fragments. No information is retained of where the fragments came from in the genome. We then either read the sequences of the ends of the fragments, yielding pairs of reads, or yield the long fragments entirely, yielding long reads. The task of assembly then becomes akin to assembly of a jigsaw puzzle. Multiple copies of DNA that we started with provide multiple coverage by reads. We first look for reads whose end sequences match or overlap, suggesting that they came from the same region of the genome. Then we merge overlapping reads together, which yields contigs. Finally, if available, we use read pairing and mutual orientation information in order to order and orient contigs to produce scaffolds, the final product of assembly. Let me overview the current sequencing technologies. Modern sequencing data comes in two major varieties. The first one is short accurate reads by Illumina sequencing. They are very cheap with as low as $2,000 for de novo sequenced mammalian genome. They are very accurate about 1% error rate, but the reads are only 150 to 300 base pairs long, uh, sequenced of the ends of 300 to 800 base pair fragments. The second variety is long high error reads, such as Oxford Nanopore Minion reads and PacBio single molecule real time sequencing reads. These technologies yield Inexp still inexpensive reads with the cost of de novo human genome ranging from ten to hundred thousand dollars. The reads are on average five to fifteen KB long, but they have a higher error rate of ten to fifteen percent. Why read lengths matter for the assembly? You may ask. The major obstacle in assembly is repeats in a genome sequence, where the same or very similar sequence appears in many places in the genome. Repeats vary in sizes. But every time we encounter a repeat that is not completely spanned by a read sufficiently overlapping the unique sequence on both sides of the repeat, we have to break a contig, leaving a gap or risk creating a misassembly. This is why assemblies created from longer reads are usually much more contiguous. So having long reads is important. Unfortunately, there are two technologies that can provide them. Oxford Nanopore technology yields reads with as low as 13% median error rate, and it has two big advantages. First of all, it's the most cost-effective long read sequencing technology. $500 yields enough sequence to cover the human genome once. Reads are long, 10 to 20 KB long, and some reads reach one, uh, one megabase long. They are structurally correct, that is, there are very few chimeric reads that join together dist distant part of parts of the genome, thus reducing the coverage requirements for de novo assembly. 10 to 30x coverage is enough to, com uh, to perform a hybrid assembly for a mammalian genome. One big disadvantage is that homopolymers and simple sequence repeats like AT, 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 AT are currently not well resolved. Thus, 
uh, this technology produces a sub a sec acceptable consensus only in combination with Illumina data for de novo assembly. The second long trade technology is PacBio SMRT technology, uh, whose reads have error rate of about 15%. Uh, it's a lot more expensive than nanopore uh, data with about $1,500 for 1x coverage of a human genome. Re pack bio reads have structural errors. Some reads are chimeric. Some of them have insertions of random sequence in the reads, which raises coverage requirements for de novo sequencing and assembly projects. However, there is an advantage that acceptable consensus quality possible with high 60x or higher coverage from pack bio reads alone, but this also may increase the cost of the project. Recent progress in base calling strategies resulted in improvements of the error rates for Oxford nanopore amine ion reads. This is a figure adapted from a study by Ryan Wick, Louis Judd, and Catherine Holt who examined the performance of different versions of Albacore, Nanonet, and Scrappy base callers on the read signal data. The same signal data was used for different runs of the base caller, and the resulting reads were evaluated by alignment to the reference sequence. Each shaded curve is a histogram of proportion of reads with identity shown on y-axis, and base caller and ver version shown on x-axis. The median error rate is marked by a line. You can see that Albacore, the official Oxford Nanopore base caller version 2.2, has been uh, steadily improving and now yields reads with about 13% error rate for this data set of Cape pneumonia that authors examined. Now I'm going to tell you about high quality de novo assembly of human genome that is now possible for $10,000. What defines high quality? I'm going to use a popular metric of N50, which is defined as the size of the context such, such that half of the genome sequence is in context of at least that size or bigger. N50 of 1 million bases says that half of the genome is in context of 1 million bases or longer. This is what I would call a high quality assembly. There is a very nice uh, human uh, NA12878 data set publicly available on GitHub by Nanopore WGS Consortium that consists of two sets of mean ion reads, release 3 and release 4. Uh, release 3 has about 14 million reads where at an estimated cost of $22,000 covering the human genome at 30x. The average read length is about 6.5 KB and the error rate is about 17%. And release 4 has about one-tenth as many reads covering the genome 7x and with minimum mi with average read length of 16.295 basis. Uh, the error rate is about 17% as well. And I'm going to talk about assembly of these da uh, mean ion data sets with uh, data set of Illumina reads from Genome in the Bottle project by NIST were containing about 3 billion Illumina reads sequenced at a cost of about $2,000 covering the human genome at 1x, 100x coverage with 2 times 150 base pair reads. Now, what kind of assemblies can you get combined from Illumina data alone and also combining Illumina data with release 3 and release 4 data? Illumina data alone uh, gives you an assembly that covers about 90% of the human genome with N50 context size of 65 KB and scaffold size of uh, N50 of 68 KB. Well, released, combining Illumina with release 3 or release 4 data gives you somewhat higher coverage of a human genome and much bigger context. Illumina plus 30x coverage by release 4 reads yields 4.1 megabase and 50 context size. And Illumina plus release 4 uh, reads gives you 1.1 megabase and 50 context size, which qualifies according to the measure that I introduced as high quality assembly. And examining the cost, we can see that $2,000 worth of Illumina data combined with $8,000 of nanopore data uh, can yield an assembly with N50 context size of uh, 1 megabases. Uh, Illumina only assembly has a consensus rate of about 1%, uh, 
uh, of about 0.01%, that is one error per 10,000 bases, whereas hybrid assemblies have error rates of about less than four errors per 10,000 bases. Now let's examine a structural assembly quality. Here I show you 22 megabase uh, Contig from Illumina Plus release 3 assembly aligned with uh, Nukmer to human, genome re uh, human reference genome GRCH38. Uh, this alignment has been plotted by Mummer plot and you can see that this 22 megabase Contig structurally is in perfect agreement with uh, part of human chromosome. Now note it's not the same human, but th the fact that we see nearly linear align uh, alignment plot suggests that the structurally the assembled contig is of high quality. These assemblies were performed with Mazurka Mega Reads Assembler version 323. The Mega Reads technique was developed by our group at the University of Maryland and Hopkins and added to the Mazurka Assembler in 2016. This is a publicly available assembler released under GPL ver uh, version 3 license and it's publicly available from our website or from my blog mazurka.blogspot.com. This is a production quality assembler with design aimed at large genomes. The latest version can assemble mammalian genome in less than one month on, si on a single 64 core computer. We used Mazurka to assemble 22 gigabase genome of Labuli pine. The assembly has been published. 2.8 gigabase uh, cow genome, the human genome, and 17 gigabase genome of bread wheat. Let me quickly overview how Mazurka works. We start with uh, Illumina reads in Minion reads and then the first step in Mazurka is to reduce Illumina reads to what we call super reads, which is a signature uh, element of Maryland super read Celera assembler, Mazurka. So this reduction process from uh, Illumina reads to super reads uh, takes about 100x coverage of Illumina reads, cleans out the errors and it extends Illumina reads, uh, thus producing longer super reads that cover the genome at about 2 to 4x. This is not an assembly procedure because the transformation is nearly exact and the super reads contain exactly the same coverage information as the original Illumina reads. That is, the super reads cover the genome contiguously at about 2 to 4x coverage with nearly error-free long reads. We, we then create a database of 15 MERS in the super reads and we align the super reads to each individual Minion read. We then look for uh, sequences of or, or graphs of overlapping super reads joined by exact overlap where overlap uh, agrees with the alignment coordinates of super reads to the nanopore read. We then examine all such paths, graphs of super reads, and for each part of the nanopore read, we choose the path that fits, that is the best fit to the nanopore sequence. We call such paths pre-mega reads. Now you can imagine that certain portions of the nano read, nanopore read may be not covered by the super read sequences. In these cases, we look for multiple nanopore reads cover containing the same uh, or consistent length gap. And then for all those mega reads containing the gap, we fill the gap sequence with raw nanopore sequence. And since we know that this gap exists in several uh, um, nanopore reads and that's in several mega reads, this gap uh, consensus will be computed by uh, an assembly program later uh, in the consensus stage. Now there are m some gaps where we don't feel, feel, fill the sequence with raw nanopore uh, sequence because we understand, we, we realize that either the gap size is inconsistent or we don't have enough uh, reliable nanopore coverage in this region and thus we leave a gap in mega read. However, we then create uh, what we call a linking mate 
which is a foam eight pair that tell, tells the assembler that these two mega reads come from the same nanopore read and they possibly go together with some unknown sequence in the gap. We then uh, uh, assemble mega reads and linking mates with Kabog uh, VA version 8 assembler for, for a final assembly. In summary, Mega reads benefit from the accuracy of Illumina reads and the length of Minayan reads. They work well for highly complex genomes. Mazurka mega reads can assemble genomes as large as, large as 10 gigabase pairs long on a computer with 1 terabyte of RAM. 1.2 terabytes was needed for 17 gigabase pair bred with genome. Oxford Nanopore Minion technology, together with Illumina sequencing, can yield high-quality de novo human genome assembly for about $10,000. And finally, I would like to acknowledge our funders, USDA, NIH, and NSF, and this work has been done at Johns Hopkins University and the University of Maryland. Thank you for attention.